What's going on with the Long Beach real estate market? I'm Shannon with the Shannon Jones team at Keller Williams Realty in Long Beach, California, here with our March 2022 update. We're looking at numbers from February 2022 and comparing them to a year ago. So here's the short version. Inventory continued to decline and prices continued to rise, meaning homes sold more quickly than they did a year ago. But let's get specific. Okay. So in February of 2022, the number of new listings that came on the market for houses was down 17.5% from the same time last year, while closed sales were up by 7.6%. As a result, the amount of inventory on the market was at less than a one month supply of homes. That's down 35.7% from a year ago. That imbalance between supply and demand has continued to push prices up. And in February of this year, the median sales price for a house in Long Beach was 900,000, up 14.4% from a year ago. The average sales price for a home was a million twelve thousand four hundred and fourteen dollars and that's up 20.8 percent from a year ago the percent of the original list price received on average by a home seller this february was a hundred and four percent and that's up slightly also from last year homes on average in february took 22 days to sell that's a little misleading though, because there are still some homes that come on the market that are overpriced or are not effectively marketed. And those do take longer to sell even in this market, but the average days on the market was 22. So what does this mean for you? If you are a potential home buyer or a seller? Well, for you as a home buyer, it means that you're going to need to be um, persistent patient and creative when it comes to making offers and working with somebody who's very experienced and connected in the area you're looking is going to be more important now than ever before. As a seller, it means that you are in a very strong position, but what if you're selling and you're buying? Well, there are ways to leverage your position as a seller and then put you in a stronger position as a buyer. One other thing that's important to note, and that is that although we're looking here at the overall numbers for Long Beach, there are, are also what I would call kind of micro markets. And so there are some neighborhoods, some zip codes that are outperforming Long Beach as a whole. Um, in terms of price, in terms of the length of time that it takes to sell a home. So if you're considering making a move, it's really important to have a handle on the numbers in the areas that you're focused on. If you have any questions about the real estate market or the process, or if our team can be of any assistance to you, please let us know. And be sure to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on our future updates. Again, I'm Shannon with the Shannon Jones team at Keller Williams Realty. Thanks for watching.